Hello everyone, welcome to the stream. Uh, today we have the classic Amiga uh, streams of mine and uh, as you can see we are back to the 1200 with Amikit running on uh, this system that has a PyStorm 32 lights and gives a huge boost to the operating system and uh, make the, the hardware so powerful to run the Amikit. Uh, welcome again everyone in the chat. Hello Chidu77, welcome to the stream. Uh, how are you doing? Uh, is, the, uh, is it uh, too hot for you in uh, Greece? How are you with uh, the heat? Are you doing fine? Inside with air conditioning maybe? Um, so yeah, uh, last week unfortunately I couldn't uh, make it and uh, do the, the live stream uh, but uh, today we are back to discuss about uh, Amikit and see how well it, it works and uh, what you get out of the box with uh, the system uh, what kind of applications there are and uh, have a look in depth what you can do with that uh, uh, distribution have in mind that Amikit is uh, a package that you can uh, buy and uh, install on uh, a PyStorm Amiga like this one but also there are uh, versions for emulated Amigas uh, for uh, Windows, Linux and uh, Mac OS and there is also a version for um, Raspberry Pis and uh, for uh, Vampire uh, V4 uh, C2 says all good inside of course it reached uh, 42 these days oh my god oh my god uh, today we have something close to 20 here in Ireland and I, I'm sweating all day uh, but I can't complain right so um, as you can see the first uh, thing that you can see in the screen is uh, Eagle Player that works just fine and uh, runs quite uh, nice with this skin which is the default skin that is uh, set up to, to work with so it works uh, pretty well and uh, okay let's let's start um, let me shut down this uh, application so um, if you have seen uh, the stream from uh, two weeks ago where I did the installation of Amikit on this Amiga uh, and um, actually I had a young uh, who is the developer of uh, Amikit joining me live in the in the stream uh, talking about uh, Amikit and uh, we did the installation. You might remember that uh, Amikit for Python comes uh, with uh, directory Opus 5 pre-installed and set up uh, for us to, to use and um, that's why you will see that uh, if you open a, a drawer you have a bar at the bottom that says the that shows the, the path and you have some extra um, uh, buttons here to do things which we can see um, straight away so um, this is a let's say a, a well uh, set up and configured uh, directory opus 5 so if you like directory opus 5 that's great because you are going to be at home with uh, Amikit uh, if you do not like uh, directory opus 5 uh, unfortunately for the Python uh, version of Amikit you can't switch to plain workbench uh, unless if you do a lot of changes which I'm not sure if it is going to work or not I guess there is a way to get back to workbench but I don't know how well this is going to work uh, for the other versions uh, for emulated Amigas uh, Amikit has option to, to switch to workbench and also switch to um, Scalos. 
so let's see what we have. First of all, you see that if you double click on the workbench, you are going to get the device list for easy access and uh, navigate through the, your hard disk by at the top you see the um, partitions that you have uh, with the RAM disk and uh, at the bottom the white uh, letters are all with uh, the uh, assigns and then you can uh, select what you want to, to navigate into and of course this is in the uh, name list uh, view. If you want to change it, you have to go view as icon and you will see the icons, but you miss the bars. And if you go with view as icon action, you see everything. Of course, this video is not going, this stream is not going to be a, a deep dive to directory opus because it's going to be huge. Uh, I think that this is something that might be an interesting thing to see in the future, maybe, if people like it, would like to see something like that. Uh, I'm not the best ambassador for <laughs> Director Opus 5, I don't use it a lot, um, and uh, as a program is uh, huge. Uh, let's see what comes out from the with the, the Amikit. Um, let's see from the bottom uh, in the screen, we have the star uh, bar, start bar, which uh, has the idea of uh, windows and you have the this icon that says Amikit X uh, that is like the start uh, button in uh, windows and by clicking on that we see a way to shut down the uh, system uh, but I think only if you click that you have to shut down Amiga but I don't think that this shuts down the actual computer because there's nothing uh, that can be done for these with the uh, classic Amigas because you have to turn off the, the power. Uh, it will uh, it will be nice, a deep down check of Director Opus 5. Yeah, I would like to, to, to watch a video about that. I don't know, I, have you seen anything on uh, any platform about that, uh, any, anyone have done something like a, a tutorial or uh, a good video for um, a Director Opus 5? I think I haven't seen anything like that. Maybe that would be a good uh, option for the future. So the shutdown Amiga, I don't think that uh, it works for the classic Amigas because you have to turn off your computer and this cannot be done um, uh, by software. Um, reboot, just reboot your uh, machine. Then we have Amikit which has some uh, interesting um, applications here and information. Uh, there is Zeus, we have seen that a little bit on the previous uh, stream but we are going to uh, check it uh, more today. Uh, and there are some information about the uh, Amikit, for example, quick guide. Uh, okay, so this gives us a URL to go, uh, change log. What is this? Is this the... Again, I haven't done anything with the system. So what we see today is for me as well uh, a first touch. Uh, it says uh, menus, preferences, etc. Yeah, for the director Opus 5, right? Yeah. Uh, if a, a video like that is going to happen, I would like to have these things uh, covered. So this is not showing anything or the system crashed because I can't close it. Let's see next one, Lister Basics. This is an image that gives some uh, basic information about uh, how you can use the, the Lister. So you have the options here if you click, for example, here, 
let's see if we click on the arrow we have all these options of uh, how to manipulate some of the files and uh, also we have uh, buttons here that says switch between list and icons that's a, a fast way to, to switch uh, so this is um, an image that uh, gives some information on how to use the listers um, and uh, toolbar buttons another image that shows every button what it does uh, and uh, also there are options for right mouse click uh, because there are different things to do which is good so if you are going to use uh, Amikit have a look on this uh, because it is uh, uh, useful information and especially if you are not familiar with uh, Director Opus 5 about a small video about Amikit and uh, live update this is the tool that we have seen the previous time that uh, helps to update automatically uh, through your connection to the internet your setup and um, frequently uh, Jan is creating updates that update uh, applications and uh, if there are updates on MU68 that the uh, PyStorm is using it is possible to do those updates through the, uh, uh, this automatic update, update application. So if we move forward system, we have here uh, all the preferences, applications, startup, careful here. Startup sequence, user startup, and workbench startup uh, preferences, which you can uh, enable and disable, I guess. Which ones you want to to use? So if we go to uh, workbench startup, uh, you have all the applications that are enabled. For example, start RC. Is this here? Yes, that's the one. And rec attack. And I guess that if we enable something else, for example, a sync, we will see that added in this uh, window, the Workman Startup uh, folder. Um, and it will start after a reboot, or if I go and double click, uh, it will start. Let's disable it like it was by default. And uh, before and here we have processes, applications to see the processes and there is Nukdos as well, which is very useful if you want to have a look on why something is not working or breaks. Uh, things like that. You have devices, hard disk toolbox, show boards, gives information about your hardware. Five boards found. And uh, what else? Uh, Sysinfo. Sysinfo, you know about it to uh, an application to measure the speed and the power of your machine um, and get some information as well. This application also only works on the native output so it opens a screen uh, through the uh, Amiga chipsets so you have to, to switch the monitor. Uh, EMU68 meter Okay, application that we can see the usage of 68K. That looks pretty nice. So I'm going to leave it up there. And uh, MU68 uh, info, I think that's 
That's one of the tools that you get from the IMU68 uh, repository. Uh, what else? IMU control. That's the one we have seen uh, in previous streams as well that gives some uh, information about the, the usage of the CPU and the uh, configuration about the JIT. And also it has the temperature here in the voltage. Uh, exchange, commodities, different commodities that are running or you can start and key maps but before we proceed further let's have a look on Zeus Zeus is also in uh, on the, the bar at the bottom so let's start it uh, it says he has done an excellent job as always very well thought yeah yeah and um, I think the, the elegance of the, the look and feel that you get from the system along with the uh, plethora of um, applications and utilities is a must but I don't feel that he, he put in there whatever there is out there uh, just to have them in the list everything is uh, well choose, uh, chosen and um, uh, put into the distribution so Zeus this is uh, a tool that comes only with AmKit um, I'm not sure if you can find it anywhere else and download it and it has um, it is only useful for AmKit because it helps you to uh, configure it uh, based on uh, what you like and uh, easy to change themes and things like that so uh, there are some uh, buttons desktop settings system settings live update that opens the live update uh, utility and the new control that opens this tool just an easy way to to be able to start it from desktop settings we have theme manager so that helps to select which kind of theme you would like to use there are a few themes a few different themes to choose from uh, window manager and desktop size theme manager gives you the option to select another theme for example uh, v11 and v12 are uh, versions of uh, amikit so if we go with v12 green we are going to see a preview here how it looks like the window we can cancel uh, white and dark that's the dark theme of uh, Amikit if you if you want to to use it and there are some uh, others from the older version of Amikit uh, if you want to use it and actually what you do is let's let's switch uh, to V 12 green yes so it changes everything uh, yes back up and replace so it changes everything uh, the applies the new theme and asks you to reboot and after the reboot you have the new theme applied to your system with the background it changes the background it changes the uh, start bar at the bottom um, to be more um, uh, the same like the themes that you have to uh, that you choose. Okay, so you see everything is buttons at the back now are based on green uh, color and the theme is changed easily. Now from window manager um, it is pretty much the same.
maybe in this uh, situation changes only the the borders and all the stuff let's try that yes so it doesn't uh, by that let's see what it does reboot Okay, the buttons here are the same, but the borders of the windows are changed based on what we selected. So that's one of the changes uh, of the window manager. Desktop size, um, change the size of the desktop elements, fonts, etc. Select bigger for uh, 90 to 80, 1080 or larger skin, uh, screens. Or smaller for uh, okay. So if we select bigger, it adjusts the the fonts and all the stuff to be the best for uh, the the screen that we are using. It uh, those are tools that try to to help the user to make adjustments uh, in an easy way. Uh, Cito77 says he updates uh, director opus settings, uh, MUI and main apps. Yeah, that's great. Uh, about MUI, you said MUI. Uh, let's open the, what is it? Uh, system? No. Uh, preferences. And we have MUI here and uh, settings you see here there are all the presets saved and yeah probably it he changes that through a script uh, what else do we see here i think we have seen all the uh, desktop settings system settings Startup Manager. What's that? Okay, from here you can enable and disable some of the um, patches, I guess. Uh, current status, new alert hook. It shows if something is enabled or, or not. So easily you can say that I want to disable the Walkman Startup disable everything from Rockpad Startup or uh, it says here PCMCA CNET patch no and reset fix no um, so if I say that I want that enabled you can enable it from here you see it changes to yes and if you are interested we can see how this is uh, working how actually he did that uh, disable back uh, that's the startup match network wizard we have seen that before when we um, installed the Wi-Fi Pi drivers and we set up the um, configuration for the uh, network so you select which kind of network card are you using and then it helps you to, if you uh, select the Wi-Fi card, it asks you to put the SSID and uh, the password of your network and then it does all the configuration for you uh, and helps you um, connect. Uh, what else? We have time sync wizard. Ah, and that's useful because my time is way off. Please choose how would you like to sync time on your Amiga. Current time is wrong. So Internet Sync, uh, English. OK, 
okay. So we have keyboard type OK, save, and let's select this time zone, save. All set, reboot is required to apply these uh, changes. So we will need to reboot. Let me also, before I reboot, change a little bit the theme and go with the blue. Yes. And let's uh, reboot. Yeah, there are a lot of things that help the user, especially those that uh, are not familiar with Workbench to do stuff without the need of opening uh, scripts and uh, messing with the user startup and all this stuff. Let's see that the time is going to be fine now, the correct one. No. Oh, it seems that the network is not configured. Okay, exit. Let me check the wireless configuration. Maybe because I selected the option to reconfigure it, but I didn't uh, finish that. Maybe it cleared my configuration. Let me have a look. Uh, yeah. As I can see, there is no, uh, there is there isn't the configuration file that I had. Let me set up again the wireless. Network wizard, set up Wi-Fi, network, Wi-Fi Pi, add their name and password. Okay, let me check. And now it says time sync wizard, internet sync, English again. Save, save. Okay, let's restart. Network enabled. Let's see now if we are going to be online and if that will uh, uh, fix the date.
chain of line y let me check again In C, we have to have a wireless dot prefs file. Okay, we have that. Let me see the content. I think it's right. Let me check again the the password. Double check it. I think it's correct now. Let me reboot. No, I'm not going to reboot. I'm going to start it myself. So, see, uh, net shut down, net shut down, okay, and uh, add net interface. Wi-Fi Pi. And if everything goes well, it should go online. Inter interface Wi-Fi Pi configuration attempt timed out. Hmm. So net status. Yeah. Let's try that again. Timed out. Okay, let's reboot. Still remains of line. So net status. So net status. possibility that it changed the um, the internet files I hope not or the net interface let's check oh it actually did, which is weird. It seems like it reset this uh, configuration.
so if uh, you go through the uh, zoos to change the network it seems that it uh, actually touches this kind of these uh, files so what I need to do is to set the name resolution this one is fine and the routes and this one is fine so it changed, it reset the net interface and that's why I don't get the uh, IP because uh, for me the DHCP doesn't work quite well we had that uh, discussed a lot in the previous uh, stream uh, with Jan here as well so let me do an amiga.cr yeah, now it works and you see here the the IP that uh, it was assigned so if I go again to Zeus and say system settings time sync and set uh, internet sync again let's see if that works now save save good to know and reboot and let's see if it works <laughs> just to fix the, the time through uh, internet Do you wish your system to be updated for daylight saving time? Yes, your system has been updated for daylight. Okay, so as you can see right now, the time is correct. And if we, yeah, the time is correct, the date is correct, 19th of uh, July. So we are fine. Good, good, we made it work system settings what else we have a local wizard this is part uh, that we have seen earlier with the um, time sync i think it asks the same things yes the input preferences and local uh, preferences and that's why it asks to us to reboot but we will not do that right now uh, time sync we have seen that okay live update is the application to do the live updates as we have seen and that's uh, Zeus so let's see what kind of applications come with the uh, AmiKit from text we have even more uh, this is a, a viewer mainly a viewer for a different um, text uh, formats it is much like, like the more application that we used to have ages ago uh, to see uh, text uh, files uh, but it is an enhanced version Micro Gold Ed is a, uh, an editor that is uh, based on Cubic IDE or Gold Editor as it used to be called Post Ed is a Post It application even more was very fast, yes, exactly. It was a great uh, text viewer for uh, not so powerful Amigas. That's, that's why it was so uh, popular back then. Reddit, you have seen that a lot, is this editor. It is um, a very simple editor. It doesn't have a lot of options, as you can see, but it's extremely fast even on uh, not so powerful Amigas. Hey, Patrick, welcome to the stream. 
How are you doing? Today we are diving into the AmiKit and we see what it comes with the distribution. RNO PDF, excellent uh, PDF viewer uh, built uh, from uh, JPV and um, he has done a lot of other applications as well. We are going to see some of them in AmiKit and uh, it is uh, developed with uh, Hollywood. It's an excellent uh, PDF viewer uh, because it supports uh, latest versions of PDFs. Uh, it has uh, very good uh, rendering, uh, but because it is built on Hollywood, it is not recommended for not so powerful Amigas. Uh, on, uh, of course, with the PyStorm is really fast. We have seen that in uh, one of the previous uh, streams of mine. Um, I think when we uh, opened uh, big PDFs with uh, about World War uh, a few weeks ago, and uh, we have uh, I was able to read it through this uh, PDF viewer. Great, uh, great addition. Um, for the AmiKit. For video, we have AmiTube. This is the application that you can uh, use to discover uh, videos uh, from YouTube and download them or uh, watch them uh, with um, a video player on your system. The AmiTube uh, requires to download the video and sometimes convert it depending on your uh, player uh, especially if you are going to um, use the how is it called play move for example this one this one is already downloaded that's why it was so fast um, yeah it is able to for you to select a video from YouTube, let's say if I select uh, PyStorm 32 light, what will return? And um, if you select a video and you use a CDXL uh, video player, it converts the video to CDXL so that it can play better on your Amiga. Um, OP, OP uh, says AmiKit, this is that cat OS, right? Yes, yeah, exact, exactly. Nothing here. Am I still connected to the internet? Let's see. Yeah. It should get some uh, results, but I don't see what's going on. It looks like it uh, times out. Check for updates. No update. We have seen AmiTube on uh, previous uh, streams as well that I set it up on my Amiga OS 3.2 uh, system. OP says, then I have it on my iStrake. Your 1200 with the iStrake, eh? Mm. Uh, please share with us how, how well it works. Here it is FF Play is uh, one of the um, small players. Um, usually you can use them, you can use it with um, from the terminal, the FF Play. But let's see if we can play something like that. Uh, volleyball. Ah, 
Ah, it has also an, a GUI here for uh, the video. That's nice. I haven't seen that before. Maybe it has a problem with the colors that uh, are not the right colors for, the, I guess, for this M uh, MPEG file. We are going to see other players, how they behave. Uh, video Frogger uh, NG, one of the best video players back in the day, uh, which supports a lot of uh, formats. Let's try again the bond ball. Play. Right, now it is much better. I remember that this uh, player I had that uh, registered and uh, right now I'm trying to find the the registered version or the key in my uh, hard disk somewhere in the backups uh, to try this out again. Or I don't know if uh, this is the f a free version or something. plays well and that GUI uh, helps you set up things, a key device, software decoder for the audio. And I remember that uh, the Frogger had also a PowerPC version um, for systems that had a PowerPC uh, from Blizzard or something. Graphics con, I think it's converter. What is it? Picture format converter. Nice. Infos. Okay. So I guess you can load files. Input format, it supports all these formats. I know it is a little bit uh, small in your screen. It is small on my screen as well. and then you can save it and convert it and has also some extra uh, options so you can uh, save to ILBM, PCX, GIF, JPEG, RGB and PostScript okay good what else? Um, graphics tool this is a cross-platform uh, application. This uh, exists on different uh, operating systems. This is based on SDL and it is version 2.8. The latest release is 2.9. So it's pretty new. And uh, this uh, application is for people who would like to do pixel artists, for pixel artists to do pixel art. Um, C2 says a solid window moving with video on uh, 1200. Yes, it was it was pretty good. Um, with this player, it was stopping the video while you were dragging it, but it was nice. And yeah, the system has uh, the drag of the window with the content. Uh, that's why you don't see only the the border. So uh, this is a pixel art application. Um, this is uh, based, uh, the developers of uh, Graphics 2 uh, are based, um, are influenced from uh, Deluxe Paint. Um, and uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty obvious, I guess. Nice. 
and also this application can be used to create uh, animations, GIF animations and things like that. Uh, Mystic View, the, the uh, viewer for uh, images, photos and things like that. Let's see if we can find um, open pictures, something big. Perfect paint. Is this the latest version? Let's see. Uh, I think the latest is 294. Yeah, 294. It has some issues with uh, the text here, but this seems like to be the, the latest version available. This is again a paint program, but it has a lot of features. I guess it is one of the best and also it is it supports um, 24 bit uh, colors and images. Next, Pick Show, uh, again um, uh, an application that we have seen before to see some pictures like that. Uh, it is used by default, I guess, for all the images like what we see in here, Pick Show, that's the same application. Uh, very good uh, image viewer, Riva, one of the best um, uh, video players again but it supports MPEG-1 only so let's see this one Riva was recently updated and um, it is a pretty good uh, video player it continues playing right now as I move the, the window. And there is also a, a version optimized for uh, vampire systems. So OP Riva is the best, um, I guess, option for you and for your ice drake. And yeah, I would recommend it. As long as you want to play MPEG-1 uh, videos. And I think the this is the best and uh, not so uh, resource uh, hungry uh, format for Amigas. <coughs> As you can see here, it plays quite well on uh, 360p. So imagine if you download a video from YouTube, uh, 360p, it will play just fine on any Amiga. On any, sorry, powerful Amiga with uh, Vampire or uh, Pystro. <coughs> RNOFX, an application again from JPV based on uh, Hollywood. That is, uh, I think that's the one that you can do. Yeah, uh, you can edit um, images and apply some effects on them. 
so if I go to um, to where is it Amikit preferences presets uh, backdrops let's get this one so you have here the image and what can I do let's apply an effect let's do some blur for apply and wait yeah this is done now I don't know if you can as you can see you can go back steps and I don't know if you can um, select a, a part of the image but it has a lot of things to, to do that's a very nice application um, else what else we have RNO slides again by JPV uh, I think you can uh, create here uh, slides like a presentation and have that playing uh, like an animation or something. Thumb, I, I, it's an application that you can select a folder with uh, many images. Let's see, does it have anything here? Wallpapers. Okay, blue. Uh, sorry, one of that. Blue. Uh, okay, and it shows if you have many uh, images, it shows them here, and then you double click on them and opens in a, um, in the viewer. I used to use this combination in uh, back when I was having the first versions of uh, Amiga OS 4. Uh, I'm talking about Amiga OS 4 pre-release version 4 around 2005-2006. I used to use these uh, applications for the thumb. So I, I could open a folder full of uh, images and uh, the the uh, not the pixel to to view the images exactly like uh, you see here uh, op says uh, sorry for the lurking but playing mario kart at the the same time with a friend that's great that's great thank you for being here don't worry at all uh two seven seven on switch excellent game <laughs> mario kart uh Last uh, Tuesday, I was playing Super Tukes Kart on the Amiga OS 4, and it was a great uh, experience. So, games. Now we are talking. Games. A lot of games. First of all, I game. Let's see if it is the last one 2.4.6. Yeah, I think it's the latest version released. And there are a lot of, of games here, and uh, as you can see, and not only um, WHD load base, for example, we have Amijueld. So uh, Jan went a little bit further and added uh, many games, but also added them in uh, iGame to play them and have a screenshot and everything Ami Jewelt I remember that when it was released back then uh, Abandoned Houses House, ah yeah I've seen that 
Barbarian plus a few games to 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 play and start them through I mean uh, through I game. Dos box. What's that? The emulator. Ooh. Scam VM full screen and windowed. Let's start full screen. Okay. Oh, and there are a few games in here. Let's start the Simon the Sorcerer. And this is the demo of the game. So we have ScamVM installed. And it's uh, set up for you to use uh, without you needing, uh, needed to do anything else. And it looks to work just fine. Nice people. Uh, get out Maybe with a reboot. Usually the F keys used to exit a game or something. Let's reboot. We have seen the i game working fine, and uh, it is configured from uh, Jan to include all his uh, games, all the games that are included in the uh, Amikit, I guess. Uh, are custom screens draggable? Um, I don't think so. That uh, remember, uh, to that uh, this system is using uh, Picasso, Picasso 96 and uh, Picasso 96 on uh, OS 3 are not uh, working, uh, there's no way to, to make them uh, draggable. Actually, the this system if you remember from the setup that we did, uh, it uses the Picasso 96 version 2 from the Aminet uh, that is available to download. This version doesn't uh, you, uh, that doesn't support uh, dragging uh, the screen. The version that is uh, still um, developed and maintained 
by individual computers, there is a hack or something that they implemented that supports uh, the drag of the screen. I haven't managed to do it myself, uh, but it has uh, something there that, uh, that supports that. So with this version, no, it is not possible to have a dragging uh, screen. So yeah, in this menu we have uh, a lot of games. Uh, and they are the same games that we have seen in uh, uh, iGame. Box Trilogy. I think that opens a native screen, yes. And you can play here. Yeah, those are the games that uh, were developed with uh, the Scorpion engine. And it, it needs a joystick. Grab my trusty, my old trusty uh, joystick, put some uh, music in my ears. Nice. So it works. It looks nice. The, the I don't know if you are aware about these uh, box games, but they were first uh, developed in another uh, engine, and they they were a little bit more sluggish. 
and uh, the developer recently uh, used the Scorpion engine to remake them. They are um, small but uh, really good games to have some fun for a few minutes um, with your Amiga. It is, I, I call this kind of games uh, coffee break uh, games because if you have, you know, 15 20 minutes you can play something really fast. Uh, what else? We have Doom, we have uh, Diablo. I think this is the demo version because uh, Jan can't uh, uh, include the full version of uh, Diablo. <coughs> You have to buy the game and the data files and move them to the uh, setup. We have seen that uh, game running in uh, one of my previous uh, streams and it works quite well with the Pystorm Amigas. What else we have? Internet. Let's see here. Uh, Amidon. Amidon is uh, one application that is built with uh, Hollywood. This is, uh, let's say, uh, an app that connects with your account on Mastodon. Any server of uh, Mastodon can be used with uh, Amidon. Uh, you have to have your own account there and from Amidon you can uh, see the latest uh, uh, messages from uh, people you are following and you can reply or you can uh, post your own uh, message. If you are not aware what uh, Mastodon is, is um, an alternative uh, social network like uh, the old Twitter that is uh, open source and anyone who, who would like to create their own server they can do it with uh, Amidon and different servers connect with each other and uh, it is it is a good um, setup. I have my Mastodon uh, uh, page if you see in the screen uh, at the bottom I have my account in Mastodon if you want to uh, follow me there. Amitrade Sender is an FTP application uh, one of the best FTP applications, unfortunately, is not maintained anymore, like most of the applications on Amiga uh, World, but it works quite well. It's one of the FTPs that uh, uses the um, matching user interface, so it makes it a little bit heavier than, uh, let's say, AMI FTP, uh, but it is. Uh, pretty well made uh, application. Uh, next one, C Manager. It, this is a contact manager that uh, uh, that's a lo uh, an old uh, application where you can keep contacts here, emails uh, and anything that you would like. It was developed by the same, uh, the Vapor company, the same who developed the AMI RC and uh, uh, what else, the uh, Voyager browser. Uh, about. Um, 
back in uh, a time that we were uh, we were keeping this kind of information uh, available on our computer like a file of facts for your contacts uh, this is torrent no this is torrent um, a 68k application to download torrents a really nice application unfortunately the developer stopped uh, working on that and that uh, application only supports the HTTP, HTTP uh, torrents uh, not the HTTPS so it is a little bit limited what you, uh, you can use it for uh, we'll get I think that's a, an application that you can use to download uh, files from online. Um, I have, I don't remember I used that before. Download manager. Okay, so if you say add, you give it a URL and starts downloads it. Downloads the URL. You can give a file with URLs. That's useful. So if you want to download many files automatically, I doubt it works with a website. If you want to, you know, download all the files from a website uh, to keep a, a copy on your machine, but I, I, I'm not sure. I have to have a look on that. Yeah, 2005, okay. I will have a look on that. Um, wet, which is an application to for uh, for the weather, to see the weather on your system. WikiChat, which is uh, an IRC client. Let's see which version is the latest um, beta version. About yes, this is uh, the latest beta version that was released with a lot of fixes a great um, IRC client Simply Mail and Yam two mail clients the best one in my opinion is uh, Yam I use it, uh, I still use it on my uh, Amiga OS 4 system with thousands of emails supported and works just fine And then we have some of the uh, browsers, Amifox, the browser that uh, is a proxy browser. I don't know if you remember through my, from my previous uh, stream. I had a stream only with uh, browsers. Um, so you can um, have a look on that where I have checked all the available browsers for the Amiga, uh, for the Walkman's 3.2 and they are available here as well. Aweb, iBrowse and NetSurf. Um, this uh, NetSurf is the SDL version that it works quite well. For audio we have Amicas Player. This is a based, this is a Hollywood uh, developed, uh, Hollywood based uh, uh, player that is uh, able to play podcasts from uh, Abicast. They are doing some uh, podcasts. I think they are in Polish, if I'm not wrong. And you can see here all the, the podcasts and play them. Uh, Amiga, the, let's say, Winamp clone uh, player. Aminet Radio, uh, the great audio player that is uh, available for 68K Amiga and uh, Morphos for so many years. Uh, we have seen that before in one of my uh, previous streams where I showed audio players. Amplifier, this is also, uh, the amplifier is uh, again a Winamp uh, uh, clone amplifier was coming with Amiga OS 3.9 and yeah as you can see it's uh, it looks it has the look and feel of the Winamp 
with a, an Amiga Touch. <laughs> uh, Cheetos has so many apps, great selections. Yeah, uh, it is a great selection and we just have a look on the start menu because I think there are a lot of other apps that are not included in the start menu. Uh, so, uh, Code Audio, the application that we have seen already to convert um, files, audio files from uh, audio CD to uh, MP3 or anything else. Um, all these applications, I have done a, a, a stream before about them. Daily Tracker. Yeah, 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 I have seen that before. It is again a mod player. As you can see, it plays mod uh, files. A very, very nice uh, audio player. Uh, what else? Of course, Eagle Player and Hippo Player. I had issues with the Hippo Player on my system. I think... It, I, I, on my Amiga OS 3.2, when I installed the Hippo Player, it was playing the audio just fine, but I think when I was trying to enable the Ahi, it was crashing on me. Here, here, yeah, th this is not enabled, and it uses uh, the audio from the it says UI, UAE, but it plays just fine. Yeah, interesting. Okay, I have to have a look uh, on how it works uh, here on Amikit. So, Infinity Music Player, of course, Imp3, um, the exceptional, this, uh, this exceptional application that you can download uh, files uh, from the Aminet and all the stuff, it does that uh, automatically for you. I have a registration number, but uh, I haven't added that yet here. Uh, GM Play, what's that? GM Play. Yet another go GUI for GM Play. MIDI file drawer. Okay, I guess it is for MIDI files. Uh, Mod Explorer. That's also a an application that is developed with Hollywood and it's uh, possible to play mod files either from your system or download them automatically and uh, play them. To be honest with you, whenever I try to, to use it on my OS 4, because it has different versions for uh, OS 4, uh, 68K, uh, Morphos, for me never worked quite well. Local playlist, player, yeah, global playlist, preferences and tarex, uh, open, open,
but yeah it, I'm not sure how well it works uh, play og uh, an application to play og files music files uh, audio files that are uh, in this format are no info screen that is an interesting application because it doesn't do much on its own but if you have uh, if you are playing music on let's say Amiga Amp or any other uh, player and you have that open it gets the information about the music and it shows uh, the uh, cover of the album or something like that and the information about the, the songs Sample Manager For the first time you should have a look at the prefs and choose a good path for the undo buffer a fast drive with lots of free space 100 megabyte okay oh yeah 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 yes that's a, an application to uh, play with audio files and open, open row, save us. Okay, it has some options on editing your uh, audio. Normalize. Yes. Um, song player, we have seen that before as well. An application to play MP3s and many other formats. Wave, CDDA, audio, from audio CDs, AIFF, yeah, a nice player. What else? Discord. I doubt there is a Discord uh, application here. I don't know why there is a Discord link. It doesn't open anything. Symphony player. I don't have a clue what that is. Symphony player pro 3.3. .3. About from 1999. Real time software. I have never seen that. Song sequence position. Okay. Uh, and the last three K player. Technological death. I think there is some music already, right? Ah, it's all, it's up here. I haven't seen that. Okay. That's a minimal uh, player. MP3s, I guess. But it passed. And it crashed the whole system. 
maybe it's my fault because I tried to open the mp3 file and it said that it doesn't recognize it so yeah it's my fault and after the boot we will see the the rest of the applications that there are in the um, in the start menu because I haven't seen any graphics uh, many graphics applications other than the graphics 2 and I don't know what else is included I think in the start menu you will see the the best let's say applications that can be used uh, on every day here it has Amidream Amidream is one application that you can use um, to generate um, generate images using a, a, a GPT technology from online uh, I think it will need uh, of course uh, something let's say uh, Amiga 1200 beside uh, will it work? I don't know this application is created by ALP42 if I'm not wrong the same person who developed the Amifox and Amitube uh, let's see if we, this will generate something but I was thinking that it might request from you uh, some token some uh, API key or something I haven't used that before but there is also Amiga GPT that you can use if you feel lonely and uh, no friends to, to call <laughs> uh, you can have a discussion with uh, GPT here you will need to add your API key have that in mind uh, so you can be a, a, able to, to use it uh, get image I don't see it doing anything maybe I am missing something we are online what else Ami translate okay Let's translate it to Greek. Uh, it seems that it gets it in Unicode so you can't see it correctly. Hmm. It should use it should ah maybe yeah probably I can't see that correctly because I don't have the local to Greek so and I don't have the setup uh, Greek fonts that's the that's the reason okay let's uh, do German so that's translated that's good I mean ah, ah. as soon as I try to close it showed something Uh, ask your Amiga, you can uh, ask different things here and get information from online, from a uh, search uh, engine online uh, referring to translation, a commercial product topic false, ok And that's how you write uh, Amiga on Morse code. 
interesting stuff uh, Chaos Pro I think that has to do with the with um, fractals yeah okay let's open a 1080p or a smaller let's go with a smaller screen go with yeah maybe increase here the colors okay I don't see how this should work. Uh, Director Opus 4, Home Bank is an application to keep your uh, financial information. New eBase, this is an interesting uh, application that you can create your databases based on what you would like to store there. People are having different collections, they, they want to keep information about that, and uh, you might uh, do that with a uh, new eBase. And new Imaparium is a, a map um, application. It gets everything from online. For example, if I go to here and say Dublin, uh, and that's Dublin, as much as I know, and uh, you can zoom in have a, a map on your system um, that's good that's a very good application virtual CD yeah that's failing to work okay and zone explorer Again, I think that's uh, based on fractals. Let's see, can I uh, load something else? Continue. Parent. Geranius. Okay, nice. And pretty fast, eh? The more iterations you add, the more time it takes. Maybe that's more detail. Okay, that's a nice tool. And yeah, I think we covered all the applications in the start menu. Now, AmiKit, uh, it has demos here that you can uh, have a look. Uh, they are, I think, uh, WHD load based. 
So if we switch. Yeah, it starts here on the native screen. Sorry about the screen that is not centered and it's not looking that well, but the scan tablet is not that uh, great. The one that I'm using right now, uh, I think if I go to preferences and I go to where is it? Uh, Overscan. graphic size okay maybe I could move it a little bit higher like that and edit text size yeah that's fine So now I think that if I save it and go demos, at least it's going to be a little bit higher. Or not. Uh, C277 says media volt is better. Yeah, for a different thing. Uh, I wonder is the PPC on the classic Amiga faster than Python if we have really seen native software. Uh, <coughs> I haven't done that uh, comparison to be honest with you but uh, what I could say is here the any any uh, screen drawing everything is happening from a fast uh, CPU that is um, the Python. So, even if you have a 68040, okay, that is running um, on how many? 40 megahertz. This system is much faster. If you have a Blizzard PPC, uh, everything is happening on the 68K uh, processor. So, as you can understand, everything is going to be much slower. Now, if you have with your Blizzard PPC a graphics card, so you can have a Picasso uh, uh, and RTG graphics, this might be faster there because you don't actually emulate these uh, uh, graphics cards, uh, you have them working. Uh, on the hardware, so a B Vision or a, a Radeon uh, graphics card might be faster. It depends. Now about PPC software, I expect that the uh, power PC on uh, uh, 175 megahertz might be faster than the. Uh, Raspberry Pi. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. To be honest with you. But you have to find that software that is going to work on the Power PC and have some um, comparison and see what is faster or not. And we see that demo? Yeah. This demo requires um, 060 at least and uh, 60 megahertz or more. And so far it seems quite uh, smooth.
yeah, the, the demo plays quite well. Right? My screen is awful, but yeah, the demo is playing just fine. Uh, a correction, this is this demo doesn't require O60 as I said earlier. Uh, otherwise it wouldn't play here because uh, the uh, PyStorm emulates uh, an 040 Okay. Uh, here we have some games. For example, there is uh, Dynamite uh, to play with friends if you want. Um, and in uh, utilities, there are a lot of the applications that we have seen. All the applications are here installed. We haven't seen Heavily Tracker. I don't think it is in uh, the menu. No, it's not. Uh, which is uh, an application to create your own tracker uh, audio. Uh, let's see if we can load a mod. And play. Okay, it's a little bit low. Let's try something else. So yeah, that's um, mostly the what you can do with what it comes with the uh, AmiKit. There are some applications like uh, the Quick Sketch I see here, Simple Cut that is for uh, creating catalog files, translations for your applications uh, or other applications, multi rename. That's a great application to rename uh, multiple files uh, based on what you want to, to do with them. That's a great app uh, utility. Um, but most of them are uh, the ones that we have seen. FileX. That's an application to see the hex uh, from any application. You can open an application to see the hex uh, code of it and you actually can edit uh, things here and save it back if you want to hack <laughs> uh, some applications Voodoo X yeah uh, I don't remember if we have seen that before but this is a great app to extract files that are archives I don't know if we have something here in downloads no and as you can see from the desktop, uh, there is virus checker uh, always running, I think, for checking for viruses uh, and starting on the on the boot of the system. Yeah, there are a lot of things that uh, people can uh, have a look at. Uh, for example, at a diff view to compare uh, two files for differences uh, showboats we have seen that before so you have a lot of uh, stuff in, coming with Amikit uh, and uh, what else here we have image to PDF take an image and create a PDF so not everything is on um, on the menu. Start 
Thuram LAN. That's a nice uh, application to like an Excel uh, application. If you want, it is missing the icons, I think. Here. But yeah, you can. Oh, it's all in German. Nice. Not so useful for me at least. Uh, CDDA for audio CDs player. Okay, we have seen uh, many audio CDs in one of my previous um, streams. All my previous streams you can find them in uh, my YouTube uh, channel. You can see the, the link on my on this screen at the bottom. Um, where I have all the previous uh, streams uh, uploaded and yeah there is also make CD if you want to create your own uh, CDs, burn, your, uh, burn CDs and all the stuff a lot of stuff here but you can't you, there are no applications like uh, for example if uh, you would look for image effects or uh, cinema 4D or Lightwave or things like that they are not included in AmiKit as much as I see. And that's logical because some of these applications like ImageFX are um, commercial. You can buy ImageFX right now and uh, you have to add it yourself on your uh, setup. There is also STFAX installed. Hmm. I don't know how many of you are using uh, fax nowadays, but it is there. News coaster for reading news. Um, unfortunately, if I remember correctly, it doesn't support HTTPS, so it's not that useful right now. And yeah. I think that's all I have to I have to, to show you today. Uh, for me, uh, Amikit is a great uh, distribution of Amiga OS because it gives um, an elegant uh, feeling and design for everyone to uh, use like a modern uh, operating system of course um, there are a lot of applications that you will you probably would like to use for example uh, there is no uh, actual word processor in there and all this stuff you have to add them uh, yourself uh, if you would like to use the uh, deluxe paint for example you have to install it yourself if you would like to use um, Final Writer or something like that, you have to install it. Uh, and uh, that's logical because that uh, distribution is not meant to bring every application into uh, a setup, especially if there are um, uh, licensing uh, issues. Uh, I'm sure that Jan would be more than happy to include all these applications, but uh, since he has to have a license for them, uh, he's not able to do it. Um, so yeah, please let me know what you think. What is your uh, uh, takeaway from uh, Amikit? And if that would be uh, an interesting uh, distribution for you to use. Uh, but for me, it feels uh, really uh, modern and uh, fast, even with my Raspberry Pi 3. So yeah, it, it is a, a very good uh, distribution for uh, Amigas. Um, have in mind that it requires uh, a few resources, so you have to have a, a powerful Amiga. You can't install it and uh, expect it to work just fine 
on uh, node 30 for example or something like that so yeah have that in mind um, C2 says Amkit is better than expected I plan to get it uh, for Pi 400 yeah it is it is a great uh, distribution and it uh, you have all everything set up for you and of course you can add your extra applications that you might need um, but the rest of the system is working great on 1080p there are some applications that uh, maybe would uh, require some extra extra care for example Staram plan that we have seen that it is uh, only in German I would expect that to be translated uh, the English version at least maybe that's not available somewhere so that's probably why this was not uh, translated or maybe it needs some kind of um, uh, configuration change in the staff uh, folder uh, there are uh, there is the dev pack um, we talked about it a little bit on the previous uh, stream it has uh, development uh, it has languages and uh, compilers for different uh, programming languages and uh, it is meant for developers uh, mostly and also for example you, you see here there is a red pill which is for game for creating your own games amos and all the stuff um, there are some music files to to listen to uh, more games like genetic species video files to to play with your video players and uh, like this one and a few more um, wallpapers so with that thank you uh, guys for being here uh, this friday uh, Hello Aris Amiga, you just got us on uh, the closing of the stream um, How are you doing? Uh, we have seen today the Amikit and uh, we checked a little bit the applications that are coming with the uh, distribution um, Thanks for joining even uh, now that uh, we are closing Thanks everyone for being here. Um, I would like to, to wish you all to have a great weekend. And before we close, I would like to remind you that uh, I have my uh, Amiga blog uh, at coffee.com slash Volcaro. You can find all the projects that I am working on and uh, all my previous uh, streams, uh, recordings of my previous streams. Uh, I would like to thank my monthly supporters who are Breed, Christopher White, Daniel Zedlika, Emek, Gabriel Falcon 11 Sokol, Livelord, and Tim Grooms. And of course, wish you all a happy weekend, uh, have a great time, and see you all next time. Bye bye.